Hey, what's going on guys? Today we got another install video and we're going to install a backrest right here. It's mostly for the rider, but I also kind of like it because it kind of keeps my uh, daughter kind of locked in back there. So here's the one I got. You have to check with your model bike and uh, also, you know, what fabrics and stuff like that you want, but... And then there's the bracket number that I got. So, like I said, the seat comes in different fabrics and styles. It also comes in different if you get an adjustable one or just a uh, more of a fixed one. There's also the adjustable bracket and there's also kind of more of a fixed one. So this one still has some adjustability to it. It's just you pretty much got to set it the way you want it and then leave it there. I'm not going to keep changing riders. It's always me. So wherever I like it, it's pretty much going to stay there. So like I said, it's got some adjustabilities here. It looks like it's got four different positions, four to aft, and then three different height positions. So that's good enough for me. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you got to do is take off your seat. So let's get to it. All right, now that the seat is off, we can kind of see where this is going to go. So like I said, we can kind of adjust it. I'm probably going to want it all the way back, honestly. And then this other little part comes down here. And then this little fella goes down here on those two bolts there. So it's kind of cramped in here. So I think we're going to go ahead and move this stuff out of our way so we can get our fingers under there so we can uh, put the nuts on the bottom there. All right, looks like it's a T40. All right, here on this guy here. It's kind of got a little front hook there. So I'm pretty sure you couldn't see what I was doing there in the front. So on the front of this, it has kind of a, like a little, like a hook. And then it goes over that little metal bracket here, right here. So you just got to kind of push it forward away from that and then you can pull it off of that. All right, now once that ECU is out of our way, then we can get pretty good access underneath here for our little bracket here. All right, yeah, it looks like all three of the bolts that go on this are the same, and the one that goes on the on the higher part up there is gonna be different, so. Drop our bolts through. Get a couple nuts ready. And, oh, we're all ready. Okay, there we go, all right. And then, start a nut on the bottom here. Try not to drop it all the way through the bike, and then have to go find it later. You got quite a bit of space in here, so once you take, move that ECU out of the way, so it should be good. And it looks like the nut and bolt are uh, both 7 16 Get this in here. I'm not going to worry about torque values, honestly. I'm just going to get everything kind of tight. Next, I'm going to do this part. Let's see if these are... So, yep, they are. They are also 7 16 so. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just assume I want it all the way to the back. If I change my mind later, then we can change it, but for now. Yeah, it's gonna go. It's gonna go like this. So the the shorter end's gonna go down. All right. I'm just gonna start it because if I start it, try to tighten it, it's gonna move this whole part too. So you can see it's already adjusted all the way to the lower hole. So each hole represents where you have it. I'm sure. And I think it goes bolt nut like that. Get 
it that tight, and that's a different size. Different size. All right. All right. Yeah, the half. It's a half inch on the nut on the bottom here, and then a three eighths socket. Okay, nice and tight. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our seat. Our seat has pretty much no hardware. Everything's already done for you. So your seat, you squeeze it to get it to go in. So you squeeze it. Maybe. There it goes. And then yeah, you can go middle hole, lower hole, whatever you want. And then it kind of flops for your rider to get in and out. And then it has like a nut on the back here you can tighten so it doesn't flop around like that. All right, let's put this all back together here. Remember to loop that front over the uh, that bracket there. All right. And put your seat back on. So yeah, adjusting that screw also kind of sets the tilt. So the further the screws out, the more the the backrest will flop back. So I put mine in almost all the way. Then you kind of just open your seat here and look in there. If it's all the way back, man, it's kind of back here a ways. It's probably gonna take some getting used to. And there she is. You can tuck this stuff in here. And now you got yourself a backrest. <laughs>